Have you noticed that you and your spouse don't always think alike or feel alike or act alike? God's goal for marriage is oneness, not sameness. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you for your constant love and support. God bless you. Welcome to chemistry department. This is the feed video for the last week inspiration so if you've not seen the first video second third and fourth make sure that you go through our videos and watch all those videos to know more about the different departments in the lab all right you're gonna be listening to mary Kay. mary Kay is my very good friend here in the lab so today she's gonna teach you guys a lot of stuff about chemistry all right stay tuned my name is mary Kay. I'm a medical technologist. I've been working in a laboratory for over 20 years. I love it. I love it because it fits my personality. I'm in uh, an off area where I can just work without having to worry about face-to-face um, -face everything. And I feel like I'm a scientist, making a difference, which is what we all want to do in any way we can. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the chemistry department today. And um, generally, chemistry involves a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tests. Um, most of the systems in our body rely on chemical reactions and everything in your body basically has some kind of chemical interaction with something else. And sometimes in disease states and when you have problems with uh, your health, part of the problem is some of these chemical uh, factors are out of sync or imbalanced or high or low and sometimes you can just find problems that are um, inside you too when certain things are elevated or decreased and it leads you to know what the problem is which ultimately leads the doctor to finding out how to fix your problem how to fix this make, make you well make, make you happy and whole and all the things we want for ourselves and our families. Well, in the chemistry department, there's numerous, numerous tests, so many. And a lot of them have different ways that we detect what the level is or whether something's present or not present. And this right here is the analyzer that we have in our laboratory. There's different analyzers in different laboratories testing for different things. And this analyzer here um, probably tests for us, probably between 30 and 50 different analytes we can test on this thing. But its potential is much higher than that. It's got different sections in it that do testing differently. It has um, one section that has certain kinds of reagents that will use to determine your electrolytes to find out if you uh, are low on sodium, if your potassium is low, or if your potassium is high. And these are things that you've heard about, like people take iron pills because their iron's low. People take potassium pills when their potassium is low or they adjust other medications. All of these things fit into our lives. This is just a piece of the puzzle. And I love being that piece because in the laboratory, it's like people don't see you as much as they do the nurse that's taking care of them and holding their hand, but we're very important. We, we are like the foundation of everything and we are the science of it. And I, I just love that. So along with um, all of the analytes, it's just this machine test, we can test, as I said, your electrolytes. It will um, also determine different enzyme levels in your body, as far as uh, enzymes that your liver normally makes, so we can tell if you're having liver trouble, and uh, we can tell if you have kidney problems based on this machine. We can tell trouble with so, so many, many different things. Um, uh, there's a simple pregnancy test that everybody knows of, but this machine can tell you, like, kind of how pregnant you are by giving you a number, like like something to quantitate how much of something you have. And it's really very, very fascinating. And when you go to school to be a medical technologist or a medical laboratory technician or MLS or CLS, there's many different names for the things that we do. Um, they teach you all of the science behind this. They teach you the basis for how we're determining all these things. And um, this is just one huge analyzer out of many, many that other labs have, other tests that we do. 
you can tell if a patient is most likely to deliver their baby within the next 24 hours. You can tell if they've had a rupture of the amniotic membrane by testing for different chemicals. It's completely fascinating. Um, and I think that if you have in your heart that you are a scientist and that you like, like, chemical interactions or the other departments. We have blood bank where you're taking care of people's blood needs. We have hematology where you're taking care of whether they're anemic or whether they're not. And um, you can determine, you can find leukemias. That's the most fascinating thing is when somebody comes into the ER not feeling good and you find the answer. You find the answer and you give it to the doctor that immediately knows how they have to start taking care of I love those days. <laughs> so, well, welcome to the lab.